LifeSpark Being, online learning brought to you by LifeSpark Complete. I've been doing research in the field of purpose for over 40 years. In my research, I've interviewed thousands of older adults. I spoke to elders over the age of 65 to learn from the wisdom that comes from aging. And one question I always ask in these interviews is this. If you could live your life over again, what would you do differently? The respondents consistently said these three things. If they could do it over again, they would have been more reflective. And by that, I meant they wished they had been more big picture and less caught up in the trivial details. If they could do it over again, they would have taken more risks. And I'm not talking about skydiving or extreme mountaineering. They meant take more risks with authenticity and voice. Bring more of their true selves to their interactions. And lastly, they wish they had discovered earlier in life their own bottom line. In other words, their purpose. From these interviews, I conclude that purpose is something that lives deep inside each of us. We all have a natural desire and capacity to contribute to this life. We each want to leave footprints, and we each have a unique purpose. But for many of us, the way we think about the path of life has been dominated by an old, familiar story and an outdated mental image, one not too conducive to living with purpose. It looks like a simple arch that starts at the bottom, bends up, and to the right until it reaches the top and gradually declines back down. Many people assume that captures the reality of aging. But what does this say? I feel like it says each of us starts off fresh and new and ready to grow. We arc upward as we go through our early years, and we continue to grow until about the time we hit middle age. At that time, we've reached the apex of our lives, the top of the arc. And then it's all downhill from there. Retirement and death are all that's left. But there are a couple of problems here. First, that's sad. It says on the way up, we're vital, engaged, and alive to learning and growth. On the way down, we're closed off to those things. Secondly, it's flat out wrong. That's not how we live. Let's look at the news story. Imagine a different curve. This one starts in the same place and arcs upward as before. But instead of falling back down along a symmetrical curve, this one dips a little and then goes back up. It continues to rise gently for an extended period, then levels off and finally falls at the end. This new story is the real story. We can continue to grow, to be engaged, and to be alive late into life. Of course, just because this new story reflects a mostly continuous upward path, that doesn't mean we won't hit challenges and times of confusion along the way. That's natural. This dip in the middle, it's probably going to happen. But you can decide whether you turn the corner and keep going up or not. The most important thing to understand about all of this is that neither chart I just walked through adequately reflects your story. And it's your story that we're most interested in. It's your story that truly matters. And the purpose journey is about helping you understand the story that got you here so you can shape the story to come. Shape it in a way that leads to purpose. LifeSpark Complete is designed to help you shape your story. What kind of differences in your life could you be experiencing with LifeSpark Complete? Here is Marjorie's story. Mom, can I get you some water? No, thanks, honey. <clears throat> Yeah, I'm just really worried about Mom. Mm-hmm. It just...
feels like she's heading south. Hi. Hi. Sarah from Life Spark. Oh, it's so good to meet you in person. Come on in. Thank you. This is Marjorie, my mom. Hi, Marjorie. I'm Sarah. How are you today? Hurt. Is it any better than it was yesterday? <sighs> no. How's your medication treating you? Woozy. Little woozy. That happens sometimes. So you play cribbage, huh? We're just gonna start the call. There we are. Good morning, doctor. Hello, Marjorie. Great to see you. Little better posture. <sighs> Do you cook anything these days? You want to play something? No, thank you. Not today. Marjorie, this is quite the collection. <laughs> oh, yes. Let's see, if you had no limitations, where would you go? Oh, I'd see my grandkids. They're trying some new things. Well, she seems a bit better. That's all it is? That's all it is. All right, and we'll do one more. Great. Hey, Michael. Hey, how are you? I'm great. Looks like your physical therapy is doing really well. Not doing any backflips yet. <laughs> Give it a little time, Marjorie. Looking good there, Marjorie. Thanks, Ken. 15, 2, 4, and 6. My, my, my. At 81 years old, my mom, Marjorie Rose Bennett, did head south. Oh, where did you find them? The beach. The beach. Oh, well, you Let's better go. show me. Come on. And that was just the beginning. Are you ready to join the others on your campus who are getting more life spark at no additional cost? 